thought for someone who's lived in the city, who's lived a monotonous life, who's done a 9 to 5 job. If you want to get out of it, if you want an adventurous life, if you want to find the lap of nature, I have just the right thing for you. This jungle trail is inside Sai Sanctuary, a 300 acre of private wildlife sanctuary on the Karnataka Kerala border. The rainforest through these trails pass is actually home to Pamela and Anil Malhotra a couple who are caretakers of this amazing land in the middle of nowhere. And I have Pamela with me. Um, Pamela, you're a Jersey girl and you've done, you lived for 30 years in India. Yes. And lived in the forests of Karnataka, literally. Yes. Um, what, what, have, what have you been doing these 30 years here? And what is this place to you? Uh, this place is sanctuary and our our haven um, for peace and calm and beauty absolutely love nature and the sanctuary is uh, filled with all kinds of different aspects of nature uh, we have over 300 different species of birds we get tiger leopard Indian wild dog or bulls very endangered species and um, elephants who come here actually and give birth. We've had four, four uh, elephant calves born within the sanctuary grounds in the last six years. And um, lots of deer. Uh, so all kinds of India's wildlife here. And some of your most iconic examples right. of Indian wildlife. And what brought you to India from New Jersey? I mean, um, I'm married to an Indian, of course. We've been married 40 years this year. Uh, and we came back to India in 1986 okay. and um, ended up being in the Himalayas for 10 years and then came down here to the Kodagu district of Karnataka for the last 30 because of wanting to protect India's incredible biodiversity here and its beautiful forest. Monsoons, it's almost always raining here. Trails get slippery, and that's when the safari's all wheel drive abilities can be called to duty. We crossed part of our river, and there's no way you could do that uh, without four wheel drive, especially during the monsoon period. And the rivers get really, really chewed up. I mean, the roads get really, really chewed up. So without that four-wheel drive, it's not possible. call you back to this back of beyond place. You need a capable 4x4 like the safari to take you to such places. It will help you get your life back. <laughs> 